welcome to another garden safari and we've been running the moth trap again overnight there it is as you can see and we've taken out some really fantastic moths to show you this morning and these are a particular group and we've got four species from the same group and these are hawk moths so let's have a look in the box over here so what have we got let's start with this beauty here now this thing here is called an eyed hawk moth and if I just very gently move its wing can you see very gently that's why it's called an eyed hawk moth because it has that eye patch underneath it looks a little bit like a poplar hawk moth and like a poplar hawk these great big chunky adult moths don't feed at all all the feeding is done by their caterpillars so they store up all the necessary food reserves to see them through not only their larval stage of their life cycle but also a uh, as an adult. Let's just have one more look at that really stunning eye spot. There it is, look, just hiding under there. So that's an eyed hawk, so it's really wonderful. Its caterpillars feed on things like willow. We've got some willow in the garden. And just over here, next to it, is our biggest hawk moth. This enormous creature is a privet hawk moth. And you can just see a little bit of pink there. And underneath these dark, well camouflaged wings, it's got bright pink and black bars. It's a really striking moth. Now these adults do feed. They're strong flies and they'll hover in front of deep flowers, flowers that they can put their long proboscis right the way down in inside to get the, the nectar. And that's our, uh, our biggest British hawk moth. So that's a stupendous thing. Uh, now we're going to come back to that little fella next to it after we've done its very close... Oh, hello. Yeah, I don't, oh. Look, I'd hawk moth in a bit of a tangle there. But as a consequence, can you see the eye spots are showing? Look at that. Isn't that just amazing? We'll let these all go in a sec. Safely back into the shrubbery so they can escape at night without getting eaten. And just here, the one I was trying to get is this stunning thing. And this is an elephant hawk moth. It looks nothing like an elephant, obviously, being pink and an insect. But it's its caterpillar has a sort of strange resemblance to a, an elephant's trunk, sort of grey and reticulated, and that's how it gets its name. But it's just, let's see if we can just get in a patch of sunlight so you can really see the colours. Pink and green, long white antennae swept back. It's a really fabulous thing. Oh, dog in the background. That's what the squeaking is, not the dog, dog's toy. So that's an elephant hawk moth, and next to it, we've been lucky enough to get its small relative these small elephant hawk moth not very imaginatively named but there it is similar if we put them close to together can you see they are similar this is smaller has this sort of gold panel in the center pink tip to the abdomen slightly different layout of markings and a smaller moth altogether so there we are we've got our beautiful eyed hawk moth which is just sheltering down there in the corner we've got our enormous privet hawk moth which is just there got our elephant hawk moth and we've got our small elephant hawk moth. Elephant and small elephant hawk moths. Again the adults both feed, they both like honeysuckle in particular and just over there there's some honeysuckle. There's also underneath it is a little bed straw which is one of the food plants they use. I'm just going to get this eyed hawk moth out of the corner and get it onto my finger and put it back on the egg box so it's safely there for later on. Oh, it doesn't seem to want to leave. Well, let's have one more look at it then, since it is such a beautiful creature. So there we are, we're finishing on our eyed hawk moth. A wonderful collection from the trusty moth trap. I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.